Hello everyone, Prey Scooter here, and welcome back to more Let's Play of Evil Land. Last time we completed the Noria Mines. This episode we're reminded that there are battles. Yeah, that's not a copyright coming down your pipe or anything. Turtles and Zumbas. Yeah, it's not a problem at all, no. Also, Clink doesn't quite deal enough dam- wow, right now they don't- right now neither of them deal enough damage to kill him outright. I should go after the Altuin, simply because it can attack both of us, but there's meaner enemies. A lot meaner. Oh. I should have mentioned, Zumas have 30 health, Altuins have 45. Wrong character. And magic our ass. I am going to magic my ass to victory. There we go. Ah, defense and magic. Good. Now we now at this point we just want to make a straight line for the village. Also, I hate this enemy because he always goes first. Also, why is Clink at the bottom of the screen? He was always at the top of the screen my first playthrough. Anyway, we're almost to the village. It's just pretty much straight east of the dungeon, as you see. Ow! Ow! Wow, I might die. There's a good chance, actually. Oh no, it's good. Okay, they can't... De they collectively can't deal more than 20 damage to a single person, so... He says that and he gets dealt 12, 20 damage in a turn. Oh, wrong one. Whoops. There we go, getting button happy again. Uh, there we go. Now we're almost done with this fight. Actually, I didn't need to keep this fight in though, because we've already fought the same situation once already. Well, go me! I win prize money. Anyway, we're pretty much at the village. Don't. There we go. Pre-rendered backgrounds. Now, the control style here in this village is kind of infuriating. Like, up. Like, up will sometimes take you up, or it'll take you left, or it'll take you right. and It's, it's very Final Fantasy VII control. Will the power of the crystals be enough to save us? Will we be able to stop the uh, evil enemy? So, what we just IO IO guy. I don't know if that is an anagram for something else. Um, okay, we'll actually get onto the plot in a, in a minute here. We're first gonna head over this way. Oh god, that's right. It really simulates Final Fantasy in its entirety right here. Well, that's gonna be one of the first things we get, so we do, so we can keep the action going. Open a chest, R restless child. Open a chest. Card players. And expensive merchant. Fast DVD player. Can I afford it? Where's my... Yeah, I have enough. There we go. Now, what else do you have? You have the silver armor, which I will probably grind for. The rare card, which I'll come back for later, because I don't plan on doing the entirety of this later. Don't go to the main menu. It's a freaking game. So... We'll be coming back to talk to this guy in just a moment, but first, I want to talk to this guy. So here is Double Twin. I'll explain the rules as we play. It's actually pretty easy, but I'll play the easy round just so you know how it works. Now, th wow, really? How did? That's kind of OP, actually. Now, Double Twin is basically kind of like tic tac toe. Mixed with Othello, or per yeah, Othello, if you remember that game at all, where basically if you can line up your pieces next to someone, you can flip them over to come your own piece. Yeah, that's it's this kind of thing. Anyway. Um, sorry, this is a bit of a thinking game too, so. 
there's a good chance I'll be quiet for good portions of this game. Now, whoever has the most cards on board, whoever has the most of their color on the board wins. And whoever has the most... Oh, thank you for giving me two cards at once. But the NPC will always have a... Well, wh and whoever has a spare card will also determine who gets the additional... I've won this at this point, actually. And whoever has the most points on board, or whoever has the most points on board and cards still in hand, wins. So basically, the NPC has lost horribly. <laughs> yeah, you think that's pretty lucky. I hit the seed, dude. I didn't know the seed was a card. And it kicked your ass using it. Anyway. So now we're going to get on with the plot. I just did that just to show you what to expect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to progress the plot here. And then we'll get on with our main story. Hello, uncle. Oh god, here comes another one. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah. Your uncle, who is the token engineer in the game, is Sid. Well done, well done, Cypher, I think is the name of the company. Well done. You've, you've miraculously dodged another lawsuit. Quick, duck, cover your eye. Also, yeah, it, it's the Buster Sword. It's the Buster Sword, but it's the legendary hero, Cloud. Not Cloud, Cloud. <laughs> oh my gosh! This game doesn't even try! <sighs> Excuse me. That was the most pointless walking animation, too. And, oh my god, I just. Now I notice it. Amulet of Gorn. Or Goron. This game, this this game tries. It tries. Talk to Garen. So basically, now we're on a villager fetch quest. She's gonna go off and learn a sp spell, which will effectively lock us in the village because we need her healing spell in order to live. So her mother has strong will too. Good luck. Well, I. One is the low. Wow, that, that didn't take long. Anyway. So, now we're going to... Oh, boy. Now we're on an NPC fetch quest. Demacia. No, they actually literally didn't try with that one. She knows the gossip about the people, so our nurse to the north of here... And then she'll say, you. Huh. Oh yes, that's it. That's right. So let me go talk to this old woman, which actually we haven't seen yet, but effectively, she'll she's crazy and will try and deny any kind of relation to legends that you try and pin on her. So, yeah. Boo doo boo. Okay. Oh, I need to get rid of a dragon. So, Deputy Raylan will be able to tell us more about the dragon as I sit here doing air quotes furiously. And there you go. <laughs> so I should talk to his mother or I should talk to the child more or less they're trying to say it's a dragon 
but it's just the kid playing with the bombs. <laughs> yeah. And you're really just a candidate for what is wrong with parents today. I thought those firecrackers were too big. The kid could barely hold it with both arms. I don't think it's a firecracker. Wow, my voice cracked when trying to do that. Hi, kid. So, now we have the bombs. Hi, Karis. Yes, you did. I know you did. Handle with care. Yay, bombs! Let's get to the Sacred Grove. Let's not, actually. Because, oh my god, my voice is cracking. <laughs> because when you get a new item, you need to use it furiously. And we just came from various places where you had to use that item furiously. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to double back to the two places we've been where we can see we can use bombs, obviously. And get those bomb items, get those items that come from bombs, bombs, Ugh, I can't English. So, who likes jump cuts? I know you do. I don't. Alright, so here we are back in the Noria Mines. This is where we start using our bombs to their fullest potential. The first bomb will reveal this treasure chest, which I believe contains a star. Now most of the chests will contain stars, some of them will contain cards. So, another jump, quick jump cut while I get to our next location. And here we are again. I kind of just did that randomly. Really? Really? Okay. You son of a bitch. I'm seriously just trying to get stars now. Stars. I'm going to stab you in a second. Anyway, another quick jump cut while I get to the next one. <laughs> I haven't gotten that achievement yet. Swift. Anyway, here's where the last one's hiding. At least I believe this. No, this is the last one in here. I'll go look around and double check to make sure. But this is the last one you'll find in the Noria Mines. So, after you clear up Noria Mines, you should have four, or excuse me, fifteen. You should have half of the of the stars and more over half of the cards. So, now we're off to where we started the game. The uh, Ellen Vale or something like that. I'll see you over there, folks. All right, and here's where the first one of many will be. Whoa, lag spike. Oop, I should probably get my sword out to take care of this, shouldn't I? By the way, I didn't. I don't think I mentioned it, but tab is how you bring up your inventory system. And only tab. A skeleton card. So we found 15 of of the double twin cards. Now, if you get lucky. Or if you now, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep you with me for a bit here. But now, if you get lucky, um, at this point in the game, you can actually complete all the levels of the double twin when, when you have 15 cards. I did, and I did not have the uh, giant seed or whatever that one was called. So, food for thought for you. Anyway, I'll be back with you again when I find our next treasure. Next treasure is gonna be over here. You're gonna, need your, you're gonna need sword and bombs in order to reach this one. Also, bombs can't hurt you, just saying. But that will get you the Red Wizard card. And... Also, you want to bomb this out, because this is your way back to the north. And I think that will do it for this episode, but I'm not 100% certain. So. I'm actually going to go explore somewhere else with bombs that I didn't the first time around and see if I missed something that way. So give me a bunch of moment folks and I'll either meet you to give you an outro or I'll meet you at the add a secret I missed altogether before. I'll see you in a moment. Oh my goodness. Um, I've never seen one of these before. Holy crap. What is Chocobo? I think I just need to kill it to get something for later, but... Okay, boss fight time! <laughs> wow, you guys are getting a long episode today, I can already tell. Attack! 
uh, magic of some life. Holy crap, I never saw this in my first playthrough either, so maybe this might be the missing everything I, I need. We'll find out probably today. Also, I should have used my other attack so I could show that off. Or at least healed, which I'll probably need to heal now. Well, thank you for doing that, Mr. Oh! Chocobo Hunter! Yes! So actually, I might need to do something with that. Um, where was that book? Was it, was it in the end? <laughs> Alright, anyway, I'm gonna go searching around for that book, how to... That was in here, actually, how to kill... How to cook your chobocco. So, give me a moment while I look for things. Fun times are being had by most. Alright, so we're back in Aogai City. Now the reason we're here is actually I want to try a few things and I, and there's one thing I want to buy. So, um, actually maybe I have to hold, hold off on that second part to end game. So, stupid kid. And that kid will never say anything else now. You try and talk to him, like, he'll spin around like he's going to talk to you and then he'll just keep on running. It's like a glitch in the system. Anyway, all that running actually proved a point. Or actually served a purpose, I should say. To get the silver armor. This more or less equips you with armor that e that will make both you that now both you and Karis are near indestructible to almost any normal enemy. So everyone, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Let's Play Evil Land. Join in next time when we will go to the Sacred Grove to find out what makes it so sacred. I'll see you folks there.